rode into screen history in the Magnificent Seven. Now they ride on to greater adventure in Return of the Seven. They were seven against 200, and the yards grew greater every second. Chris, the strong one, bigger than any fight he ever started. You're either a very stupid or a very brave man, senor. One word from me and you would be dead. That'll make two of us. The five Winchesters pointed at your head. Bill, the kind of man who fights best when the cause is good and the odds are not. Chico, he's a man of peace today, but violence is in his past and his future. Many men, and that leaves many women. Luis, rough, roguish, spending his life like it was going out of style. That is his last request. Do you mind if I escape first thing in the morning? Right. A man makes himself what he has to be, even if it's a target. I heard him talking out there. Lorca sent for help. Come tomorrow, he's going to have 200 guns, maybe more. He's not going to settle for just us, Chris. He wants them all dead. Manuel, quick, wild, untamed. A boy who was born to be reckless and made to be lawless. Return of the Magnificent Seven is the sequel to the Western classic, The Magnificent Seven. This one was released on October 19, 1966. Will this sequel officially break the streak of horrible sequels I reviewed, or not? Well, let's find out by starting, of course, with the story. The story follows Chico, who was one of the remaining members of the, of the original Magnificent Seven who went on to live in a, vill in a Mexican village. However, his village gets attacked by 50 gunmen led by Lorca. So Chico oh, finds Chris and Ven, who are also remaining members of the original Magnificent Seven. So Chris and Ven try to recruit four more gunfighters to help stop up the army of Lorca's men. This story is not as good as the original movie story. It, it is hard to make a sequel be on par with the first movie. That being said, I actually do like the story. I'm not kidding. I really do like the story. It does have, have many of the elements that, that made the first one so fucking enjoyable. But, that, but at the same time, I feel it has many elements that give it its own identity. Some of the scenes in the first half of the, half of the movie are pretty enjoyable and so fucking memorable. There's a, there's a bullfight scene that is pretty damn good. And there's a cockfight and a brawl. Hell, even the prison scene has some memorable lines. The second half of the movie is a little more understated, which is not necessarily a bad thing. As a matter of fact, it's one of the things that that makes it have its own identity. In f as a matter of fact, it's one of the things that makes it have its own identity, and a damn fine one to boot. All the Magnificent Seven, including the new ones, are fairly likable. 
The only one that is annoying is the guy who talks endlessly, sometimes about nothing at all. Even the other guys always tell him, you talk too much. You know what? You're, they're right. You talk way too fucking much. But that guy is infinitely more likable than Lorca. That son of a bitch. I will say he is a good villain. But that's the only praise I'll, praise I'll give him. While this story borrows heavily from the first movie, I think it's still, I think it is enjoyable and ha and even has its own identity, like I've said. The action scenes are pretty fucking good. There are plenty of guns and plus some explosions and blood to mix, mix things up. It is filmed and edited and choreographed fairly well, but most of all, the action scenes are pretty fucking satisfying. And that is a major fucking plus for me. Now, f now for the production values. The music has many of the same music as the first one. It, 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 it has the same composer as the first movie, who is Elmer Bernstein. The music itself is pretty damn good. The cinematography is great. The sound is pretty good. If not up to the standards of an old movie. Um, the editing is competent. The art direction is nice. So yeah, the production values are good. Return of the Magnificent Seven is actually a pretty good sequel. It has a memorable story with some new dynamics, even if it does borrow heavily from the original. It also has worthy action scenes and nice production values. The only problems I do have with, have with the movie is it does not have much of the spont spontaneity or even the length of the first movie. And one of the gun, new gunfighters is, is kind of annoying. Although he does become aware of it, which is which sort of rectifies that error. Oh, and it has many elements of the first of the original, to the point where it could be called the same. But overall, I enjoyed this sequel. As a matter of fact, act the first one had flaws about it too. So I think. I think I could watch this movie and the first one, maybe even after each other. Yeah. I give Return of the Magnificent Seven four out of five stars, with the title of Awesome. Anyway, I'm Spike Robot. Thank you all for watching. And, uh, uh, see you later.